What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to show you guys how I extract data from an iPod Classic. I posted a video and a user on there wanted me to go over how I do it. Now I know there's several ways that you can do it, but this is the way that I do it and we will go with that. So what I do to extract, what I do to extract data off of an iPod Classic is I use a product called iMazing. I will leave a link to the website below. It does cost, it is a third party software. So the reason I use this is because to the best of my knowledge, there is no way to extract data off of your iPod Classic through iTunes anymore. So you can actually hook the iPod up to your computer. Actually, I can do that real quick, give me one sec. So I just hooked up a customer's iPod Classic that I just finished. Let me move iTunes over here to where you guys can see it. Come on. Actually, I think iTunes will not work while I am running this software. So it did show up here. So, but first, let's see if we can see it in File Explorer. And, and this is how to do this on Windows. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I am not a Mac user. I don't know anything about Macs. It is, I know it is definitely odd. I am a, I am a little bit odd in that sense that I am in... I am a 100% iPhone user. I hate droids, but I, in the PC world or in the computer world, I'm a PC user and I can't stand Macs. Yeah, explain that one to me. But anyways, so you plug your iPod in and you can actually bring the iPod up here and the data is located, I think in iPod control music and it's all located in these files right here. And these files, I mean, this is your, I can, I can, I can play this right now. Hello. Sorry guys. So I can actually play that right now, but it's named gibberish. So, I mean, if you really, really wanted to, you could go in here and you could copy all of this just by, you know, right clicking or, you know, control C, control V to wherever, whatever folder you want to do, but it's going to be, you're not going to know what it is. So to combat that we have other software out there, third-party software, like I said here, called iMazing, and there's there's dozens of other software out there. This software does cost, I think it's like $20 per device or something like that. I'm sure there are devices, or not devices, I'm sorry, but I'm sure there is software out there that is free. I just haven't done the research. So this is really a video of how I get the data off. So I'm sure there's gonna be people down below that are like, well, I use this and it's better. I don't care, I really don't care. Somebody asked what I do, this is what I do. So this is what I'm showing you. Okay, so I have the iPod plugged in. Obviously it pops up here and I'm amazing. I drop down the menu, I go to music and it's gonna show every everything that I have on here. So as test music on this person's iPod that I just finished, I just threw an album on by a band called Ice Nine Kills. So if I want to export this, I can actually export it to directly to my iTunes by clicking this button or you can export it to a different folder. So do the whole selection, or you can just do library. I'm just gonna leave it where it is because they're the same. You hit next. And then you extract it. Let's, uh, let me make a new folder somewhere. I'll just make it at the, the root of C. Call it test music. Oops, test music, awesome, hit okay and it starts to extract. Okay, so let's pull up our location. I put it at the root of C. And I already forgot what I called it. Test music, hello. So there's the band folder of which it was extracted. Then within this folder should be an album folder. And that's what is right there. Safe is just a shadow is the name of the album. And then we have all of our songs here with all of our metadata, which is what we want. So if you compare that to this, uh, iPod control, music, you have all these different folders, which there's nothing in there. I'll just go to, so there's your music folder compared to everything with metadata. So that right there, that is how I extract data from an iPod Classic. So I will leave the link to the description, or blah, blah, blah. I will leave a link to the website down below. Do what you want with it. Do some research. I mean, there might even be some, some other third-party software out there that's free 
that's better than this. As I said before, this is what I use. So, yeah, that'll about do it. You guys all have a good one. Later.